and welcome to the Siebel 22 Siebel Sandbox installation demonstration. My name is Alexander Hansal from Black Sheep IT Consulting. I'm happy that you can join me for this presentation. So before we start with all the demonstration videos, which are available separately on the Siebel Hub YouTube channel in a new playlist that is growing as we speak. Uh, let's talk about the example machine setup that I am going to use for the demonstration videos. So on my modest laptop, I have Windows 10 and I'm using the Windows 10 Hyper-V Manager to create a Windows 2019 server virtual machine. So all these steps are documented well in the internet and you can Google for these steps. And you might well be using a different virtual machine environment or a cloud-based environment. It should be applicable to all of them. Keep in mind that Siebel CRM is a bit memory hungry, not as much as Google Chrome, mind you, but you need at least a minimum of 16 gigabyte of RAM available to the virtual machine or cloud machine. You need a minimum of 100 gigabytes of hard disk space or preferably more, depending on what you're planning to do. And two CPUs is the minimum, maybe if you have more physical cores, then uh, yeah, assign more CPUs to your machine. So you can see that my machine setup has uh, 20 gig of RAM and six CPU uh, using about 80% of the resources of the physical laptop. So once you have your virtual machine in place with Windows 2019 server, then uh, you can go about and even follow along the videos. So we have not recorded for several reasons uh, the machine preparation because these steps might vary and they're not really related to Siebel CRM. On Windows 2019 server, Windows Defender comes pre-installed and I tend to uninstall it completely because it's a sandbox machine and I don't care about security much on these sandboxes, um, but you can, if you will, disable it just temporarily before running all these installers because it simply tries to be diligent and scan all the files for security vulnerabilities and is a bit too diligent in my opinion as it slows down the process in as much that you can experience failures as, as timeouts occur. So Windows Defender should not be around when we run the installation. You also need a modern version of Google Chrome or Firefox. Uh, Internet Explorer is definitely out of the question. It's not even supported anymore for modern versions of Siebel, so don't go there. Uh, you need 7-zip or a similar archiving tool to un well, to unzip the zip files you have. And uh, if you want to generate your own key store or self-signed certificates, as we will demonstrate, you need a Java JDK. Uh, version 8 is sufficient and OpenSSL, a recent version. And since we are going through a new database installation in the videos, I also use the Oracle Database 19C installer and the Oracle Client 32-bit 19C installer. 32-bit uh, is very important as this is required for Siebel Witches, 32-bit software. Then I have prepared, uh, downloaded from Oracle support, the Siebel22.x MDE installer. The video as I recorded is on 22.4, but should be applicable to later versions of Siebel, including with the foresight uh, Siebel23 or future versions, but nobody knows that at the time of this recording. And I also prepared the DSA 22.4 installer. Then I downloaded the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable for 2015 to 2019, which uh, you want, might want to download and install 
it's a really quick process to avoid trouble with the Oracle client. So make sure you get the 32-bit version of that redistributable and the 64-bit version couldn't hurt as well. So I installed both. In the videos that you're about to see in this playlist, you are going to see in this order uh, the installation of a empty Oracle 19C uh, database, a simple environment just to hold the future Siebel database, and we install the Oracle 19C 32-bit client. Then I'm going to use the KeyMaker script, which is available on the Black Sheep CRM GitHub channel, to create a self-signed certificate for my machine which is, of course, a very controversial step, as you will probably use different certificates, etc. but we are going to discuss this when it's time. And then, of course, install the Siebel CRM22.x enterprise components using the modular deployment engine installer. I'm going to install the gateway Siebel server and AI in one home directory then use that binaries to create the new Siebel database using the Siebel database configuration wizard and upgrade wizard. And then make things a little bit more complicated uh, to end by installing a non-ENU language pack. I'm using the German DEU language pack and this will apply for any non-ENU language pack, of course, followed by an installation of Siebel tools which is required at this point because we need to run a full publish and that full publish requires the Siebel tools executable and of course Siebel tools is a nece necessity for any sandbox environment and we run that full publish because it's required for any non-ENU language pack. Then we have a ready to use database and we have no enterprise, so the video that follows shows how to use the Black Sheep Enterprise A GoGo script from GitHub as well to run an automated bootstrap and simple enterprise configuration automatically using REST calls. So you might want to see that as a proof of concept. And please follow the links in the descriptions if you want to see the bootstrap and enterprise configuration using the classic Siebel management console user interface. There are videos for that on the Siebel Hub YouTube channel as I record this video. We follow then into an installation and configuration for DISA 22.x and we are planning videos on building up on this environment, such as getting the debug server ready, getting ready for test automation, and so forth. So if you have any ideas about what you would like to do in such a simple, single stack machine, virtual machine sandbox, then uh, yeah, hit the comments and see what we can do. A little bit of reality check is in order before you embark on watching the video. So the goal is clear. We create a local, a non-cloud virtual machine to, well, save a bit of money uh, running on our, on our laptop. And that is a Siebel sandbox. It's a single stack machine. It's clearly not capable of doing any production work. Uh, so that is just for personal evaluation, prototyping, learning, or just to satisfy our curiosity. So definitely not for production. And keep in mind that the virtual machine can be only as fast as the hardware that you run it, which in my case is a, well, a little bit dated laptop. And that shows in the videos. So it's not Siebel that is slow or the database, it's actually my laptop. And your mileage will vary. So depending on your situation, you might do different steps or you might have different prerequisite requirements, etc. Keep that in mind when you watch these videos. So with that, happy to see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye. 
Hi, it's Richard. And I'm Alex. Welcome to the Siebel Hub Learning Experience. Get ready for Siebel 22 with the most up-to-date modular training course available. Learn more with clear, precise instructor presentations. Team 2 has a mid-level release they want to push to integration test and then incrementally migrate that content to the test database. Learn better with comprehensive exercises and demonstrations. Now the next step to be executed is the business service and we can click simulate next. This executes the business service and we can inspect the output in the workflow process data panel. Learn faster with high quality course materials. Go to SiebelHub.com and start learning today.